those are really the big options. What about uh, resources and reskilling and training? This is a huge deal for companies when they start looking at cloud and their IT teams are freaking out. And they, I, with, with Rightscale, they literally almost been thrown out of order because they come in and say, hey, we can have one administrator handle up to 3,000 servers. And I don't know if you know the numbers, but I think one VMware says one to 200. And we end up talking one to 2,000, one to 3,000. So what do you guys think? How, how do you handle the resource and the training and the reskilling? Let us work, guy. No, no let's say you're running a team. You guys yeah, are the IT team, yeah. right? With a set of skills. How are you freaking out? Are you excited? Because it is a, it's a big community effort right now. It's, a, it's, it's quite popular. There's lots of reading about it and stuff like that. If they can get excited about it, like they are building a server most of the time, and for some reason, like, I mean, most people can't make sense of that in the first place. Like, why do you, <clears throat> why do you find it so interesting to rip apart a piece of metal and play with it and stuff? You just do. <laughs> you know, that you get that same kind of engagement and interest into cloud computing. Like, getting to find where it's appropriate and, and making use of that technology. It, it's taking it, yeah, it's taking advantage of the new capabilities that the cloud gives you, virtualization, but just even just uh, reach as far as to, to other people and that kind of thing. Uh, but you're not going to get away from X. X is, is a reality uh, between what you have and where you want to go. And um, really, you can't fight it. So you got to embrace it. Call them server huggers. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing you can do when you're like, Dude, you're not doing this. <laughs> I love my server suits. <laughs> yeah, I have ten of them on my desk, and I've been scooping them out of the, like the back lot, and putting them under here, which is why the desk is 100 degrees. Of you, you can't, you can't do anything with those guys, right? Because they're, they're uh, guys or gals, uh, because they are they're wet into the idea of touching the hardware, and you know, God bless them, they need to be somewhere, but you know, they're not going to be in the cloud. Uh, especially with the change in this kind of whole, who's heard of DevOps? That's kind of like a rising trend. So developer operations, and it's the lookup um, ops code chef 